Hey friends, Chris here. I'm gonna do a quick overview of two products I got for the Tiger Moth here recently that I think you might wanna consider. I've had a few questions about it. I wanted to show you what we got going on. So the first is the Jerry Can Holder that Smitty built. Now I got this at uh, Four Wheel Off-Road Parts here in Oklahoma. The second is the Jerry Can from Harbor Freight, which surprisingly is actually from a really reputable brand, uh, which impressed me. So let's take a look at how we have it all set up. Now for those of you who already have a Tiger Moth, this is gonna look familiar. Perfect place here, right next to the propane tank on the step. We had some great mounting points and we're able to get this really secure and really functional. So after 2,000 miles, mostly highway, but a little bit on beach as well as off-road, this thing is rock solid. Now, you'll notice I've got this connected with a zip tie because I'm not concerned about theft. I just wanted it secure while I'm driving. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and show you how we have this mounted. It's fantastic. Now, the great thing about this is you can actually reduce the size of the um, clasp there so if you have the tank out you don't have to use it now this is full and you'll notice that we have plenty of mounting points and as I was trying to find the best place to put this this was what I decided was optimal now you'll see it's flush against the back bracket here and does not touch at all the actual side now as I was trying to find the best way to mount this, trying to get the holes to line up, what we came across was that these two front holes lined up really well and the rears did not. Now, what's great is on the reverse side here, we ended up using, as you can see, these drywall mounting screws. They were perfect to self ratchet it down and be nice and tight. And then we went ahead and just used zip ties on the rear and on the bottom to get that nice and snug through the other mounting points there. As you can see, this thing is rock solid. Now, one concern that I had as we were putting this together is the little rubber stoppers do not actually tie up with the can. And I thought that would be a pretty major vibration point. But once you get the top bracket on and secure down, it does not move whatsoever. This combination is killer. I highly recommend it. So there you go. Quick little overview. I'll put a link down below for you guys to check those two things out. But if you've been looking for a solution for some gas on the Tiger Moth, certainly recommend that combo. Have a good one.